Howdy howdy, Sudovil here and welcome back to our Mortal Empires Legendary Dwarf Campaign walkthrough. Relaxing campaign where we're going to take every settlement on the map, paint it dwarven blue, check out every new unique building. Um, we've got some fun themed armies that we're working with. Every single army is going to be different in this campaign. This is Thorgrim's army, it's Longbeards, and of course he has some grudges to settle. He has old Deadeye in his army. I'm sure if you played the dwarves you've heard old Deadeye referred to a lot. We have Grand Peak's Grudges, Manfred's Doom. We have two Slayers, because that's from what he needed for his quest. And we need two two Gyrocopters in this army to finish it off. I finished my recruiting. I need to get down to Karak Kadrin. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll take Thorgrim. Put him in the underway. How far can you get? Not very far. Did I take Thorgrim's... The High King hmm. acts. They got six turns. How are their walls? 100%. How's their garrison? Well, the garrison's good. Even Oof, that's an army, though. The Karen race are definitely difficult to take down as dwarfs. So, it's possible for Rage us to lose that. Um, let's go south. And see how Coon Hearn is doing. Okay. I do. Yeah, he can get there. So they're taking attrition. Whoa. They are really taking attrition. No. This is impudence. My army's My not fully burns bright. My army's not fully uh healed. I'd be going in light and I'd be going in enforced march because I doubt I can make it there in regular march. Yep. Holy one turn of attrition that's what these guys got. I refuse. Can I take them? Oof. I don't know. They have see they have these bail these Carts with the unholy lodestones, those are mass regeneration. I think I could take him down with my ranged just fine. Such a thing is impossible. They have a lot of armor. What does Martek have? Hmm. Very little armor piercing. And everybody's hurt. Vengeful Rune Lord. Hmm. I need to come back to this. I need to think about it. Okay. Now, can you run all the way? No. You can jump pretty close. This army? Well, it's not that great. Ooh, that army's better. Bunch of chosen. Magic resistance. Two hell cannons. No. So they can siege anytime they want. Karak Kern has a great garrison though. Four iron breakers, lots of thunders. I'm gonna head over there. Next turn I can lift the siege. Um am I done recruiting here? I am. So I've got two gyrocopters for Grom Brindle's army. He's gonna have one of each flavor. So you can have the Grom Brindle's Air Corps. And I've got two gyrocopters for Thorgrim's army, rank 9. Recruited out of Kazakh Karaza Karak. I mean, that's from this building here. Upkeep minus 10 for gyrocopters and gyro bombers, all forces. Recruitment costs, reduction, speed uh, increase for all of them. And unit experience plus 5. So we, with Grom Brindle's plus 3 experience, we're recruiting rank 9 gyrocopters. Um... So I got to get over here. Let's, let's go as fast as we can go. Okay. Okay. Ah, to die in battle. Averheim. Can this army take? Just can this can this army take the walls? 
I don't got much inside. But I can stop the replenishment of these guys. These Vargulfs. And if I hit Averheim and take it, I mean, we're... We're in pretty good shape. Um... Yes. But I'm not fully healed either. To war. I'm gonna do it. Aye, but the axe of Dargo demands I mean... I don't want all these guys to heal up all the way. Averheim is uh, rank 4. We get Averheim, again we start digging into their ability to... I am the Slayer King. Their ability to replenish, so... Or, sorry, recruit really good armies. Okay. I want this. Battering Ram. Okay, and we will continue the siege. So now, they're not getting their replenishment. So next turn, we're going up the walls with our slayers. Maybe I'll knock down the doors, I don't know. Like, the towers are going to hurt me, for sure, as I come in. Nothing I can do about that, but they don't have upgraded towers. Cause they, and they have a fairly small garrison, so... And Ungram will be able to kick the tar out of this necromancer and vampire. And uh, same with this rank 2 ghoul king. It's just if there might be an army out here that I can't see that might want to come and lift the siege. And if they do, I probably have to give it up. But, I mean, it is what it is. Templehof. Yeah, I'm just going to let Templehof sit. Oh, I would like that. I'm going to do this runic gate right now. No, I'm not, because I'm going to get sieged by another uh, rebellion. You know what? And I've almost got my tech done. Three turns, and I'm going to have two less turns to do this. So we'll get that done. So we got Thorgrim. Belagar. Don't like fighting my Dowie kin, but has to, I didn't declare war on them. They sided with the lizard people over their own kin, so... We'll have to teach him teach him a lesson, I guess. Okay, Belagar. Where were you? Oh, Reclamation. I want to stand your ground. So, Reclamation charge bonus. Now plus 15 for the Lord's Army. Excellent. Charge bonus 51. Good. Let's see. Charge bonus 27. Like, that's pretty good for uh, my base units. You know, charge bonus for the Anger and Longbeards, 27. That ain't bad. For the Clan Hodak Warriors, 27. I'll take it. Uh, charge bonus, 19 even for <laughs> for my uh, Thunders. The Clan Hodak Thunders. Clan Zorak Blueheads. Yeah. Even these guys have 17 charge bonus. 40. Uh, 40, 40 for my Thane, 29 for my Master Engineer, and 51 for Belagar himself. Excellent. Now, do I want to come down and lift the siege? Or do I have to continue? See, I'm not so worried about losing Galbaraz, to be honest. Let's just see. Fog them! Okay, what do they have? Yeah, none of these are going to be good in a siege. And this is going to be extremely good in a siege. I like it. Um, yeah, I'll just let it go. So, how many turns do I have left? Eight turns until they run out of supplies. Now, this army will probably attack this army. And these guys... Gino Spada may... I don't know if he's at war with the Neckark Brotherhood or not. So, my plan is to shift a Dwinbar Silverbeard yes. down here. He's building up his uh, kind of optimized army. And when I say optimized, it's meant to be a very inexpensive army that's very effective for the price. Right? My plan is to bring his army and he will, will campaign down south. And eventually, he'll come and meet up with uh, Kuhn Hearn here. Never. 
Now that army can't get all the way around yet. Okay, so I need what? to get on over here and uh, I am a rune lord, deal with this business Smith. and deal with the uh, the lizard people. God, they got strange names: Kalard, Grukox, Grukox. I don't know. Whatever. He's big and ugly. Ah, uh, he's not ugly. He just looks awesome. Who, who am I to call that ugly? That looks badass. All right, <laughs> get in, get get, in, get your face in the screen, there, buddy. Okay. Yes. So, Belgar's army is good. I want to push these guys off. I don't want to allow them past me this way. But I want to be in the same province they're in. The reason is, if I'm in the same province they're in, I have a. I, if they use the underway, I'm going to catch them. So, I'm actually going to go right here. That way, if they try to jump out in any direction, I have like a very good chance of catching them in the underway. Okay, we'll go up to Dwinbar Silverbeard. I need a. I need one more thunder. Okay, where's my thunders? By the grudge bearer's will. And I need a bunch of quarrelers. I need six total, so I'll get five now. Where are they? And get rank eight. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that'll do the trick. And then I'll get one more uh, Dwarf Warrior after that. So I might as well just uh, recruit them now, and just let, just so I don't accidentally forget them. And that's the army. Now, it'll be done in two turns. I've got him a kit. And they'll be ready to go campaign down south. And the reason we're getting our, our Quarrelers at rank 8, right out of the box, is because of... Is it this building? Yeah. So we got a... A lumber yard, which gives us upkeep minus three for dwarf warriors, longbeard slayers. No, that's the iron smelter. Here's the lumber yard. Uh, upkeep minus three percent for dwarf for quarters, rangers, bolt throwers, and grudge throwers. All forces, awesome. And unit experience plus two for dwarf for quarters, rangers, etc. So I'm getting plus two experience from that. I'm getting plus three experience from uh, where's uh, Grom Brindle's tech. If you've never seen it, I mean. His Grom Brindle is, is amazing. His Ancient Acumen, plus three unit experience for all unit recruits faction wide. And on top of that, if we go down here, I've got uh, Renowned Dead Eyes, plus two experience for Quarrelers here. So that's plus eight. That's eight chevrons I come out of the box with. And um, I mean, that's that's pretty significant. Like, me they, can, they can really put a beat down on someone and if I really wanted to optimize my thunders I would have actually come and come to Barak Var to get him here because Doc Karras I just don't have the recruiting facility to do here but to take get them here but Doc Karras has this uh, salt works so I could get plus two experience for black power powder and fire based units so I I could have got uh, for the wisdom you know had I really wanted to Dwar thunder is at rank eight as well but um, We'll just leave that one. It's fine. Um, Thorgrim, Belagar is done. Dwinbar, Ungram. Yeah, you're here. I think I can take that. I mean, I've said it before with this army. <laughs> and, it bid, and bids very, very wrong about the whole thing. But we're going to try. So... Uh, all right. So now, yeah, Craigstone sails. He's delivering the gyrocopters. Um. Oh, so I want to make sure Thorgrim gets there. So details. I want to make sure he has a. Okay. What is it? A rune bearer. Where is it? Rune bearer. I think these are in alphabetical order, right? Rune bearer. There it is. So who has them? 
So Kunher needs his. Deligar doesn't absolutely need his. So I'm going to get that one. And I'll make sure next turn that uh, Thorgrim has an extra 10% campaign movement range. Just so I can absolutely get here and lift this siege next turn. Um, and then push on into uh, into the vampire counts. Like this is going... I freaking... Bring them! Freaking beastmen. Well, I guess I can lift that siege. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just get rid of these yahoos. Yeah, because Karak has nothing else. It has nothing. Beastmen conflict. Grudge removed. Alright. Okay. So he's beat up. He's got nothing. And, uh... Crack Ungar, are you building something? You are. So they got the walls going, and and hopefully they don't come up to Kazid Hercules before my walls are built. That would upset me. All right. Kunhern. Valiant Lord. If I take these two, I save Martek, and I can replenish here in Martek and go up Del Hike. If I wait a turn of replenishment, it's lost. I can get there, but I'm going to be four smart, so I'm going to be tired. Never. This guy is... I don't know. He's ranked 10, so he has seven battle skills, so his units will be jacked. And they are. This guy is ranked four. He has three campaign skills, so he's not going to help, but we got a lot of Graveguard with great weapons. That's no joke right there, boys. And these uh, corpse cart with unholy lodestones. Armed and ready. Well, Kun, it's time to really put your boys to the test. If I'm gonna do it. I gotta do it now. So we're gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. I might lose. Um. But I can always recruit another lord. Drink. <sighs> yep. We've, we've got a definite imbalance in their favor. That's for sure. So, Kunhern's are reinforcements. I don't know where they're going to show up. Um, these guys are all at half strength. But, like we said, Graveguard with great weapons are going to be a problem. And these freaking corpse carts with unholy lodestones and these uh, cryptors are going to be a problem uh, the hex wraith cause fear and terror as well so we need to get rid of them and they have ample ample lords and heroes to, to beat down our heroes so uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this well you know what if you're going to make mistakes make aggressive mistakes and if you if you make those mistakes, those aggressive mistakes, and you get your butt kicked, learn from them. Don't be like me, kids. Learn from your mistakes. I do love this map. We have great deployment zones. Hopefully we show up on the same side. Okay, uh, corpse carts. Right on, we do. Their, their army's there. Uh, this isn't the greatest deployment zone ever. But, our flank is protected. So, and our flank is protected here. We've got like a, almost like a mini choke point. The problem is we're downhill. But you know what? The one advantage of being downhill is if I have a cannon and my guys are right here and your guys are right here I have a perfect line of sight on you so there we go okay group them cannon! Um, I'm gonna group I'm gonna put all of you on the right flank so we'll group you 
and I'll put push them over up into here okay you boys um, I want my armor piercing on this side because I do believe they're obviously this this side's gonna be under more pressure I actually kinda like the way they're laid out right here do I go like this I think I do. Point are we pointing directly at that stone? Nope. That's what I want. I want to go between these two stones and make a mini a mini choke point. And we got our hero back here. And I'm gonna put my artillery. I guess I put it back. I mean, ideally, I'd like my artillery up here. So I'm going to do that. Put these guys right here. And I'm going to pop my artillery, all of my artillery, right up on this little ledge. And protect it from this side. So. Group. Okay. Alright. Let's get it going. I mean, we've we've got to take down their uh, these bats will be a problem. I would like to take down their Karen race, but I'm not going to be able to deal with them. I got to take down these corpse carts with the unholy lodestone. Yeah, and their heroes are going to be a problem. The cryptors I should be able to deal with with my arrows. Graveguard with great weapons. Oh man, there's so much to shoot at here. I'll leave the corpse cart till we engage, because I can shoot over my own troops, and they're extremely slow. They'll get here late. Just a second. Where is the line? Yeah, the line's right here, so they can't come around. Okay. Deep breath. Let's just do our best. Okay. I want you up here. Not them if they get close. Dwarf warriors, go! Don't skirmish! Don't skirmish! Not them if they get close. Okay. Um. I want you. They have wronged us. You, 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 and you, and you guys in a big group. And I'm just. Yeah, I'll put them like that. I know it's not perfect. I want you. And you in that group together. Yeah, it's not perfect, but they're nice and thick. Okay, um, I get you guys in a group over here. Group cannon. I want you up here. Get moving. And I want you in a group with these guys. Okay. Um. Oh. I want you in your own group, you guys. Okay. I want you. I want you up here. Yeah. This is this this is a group that I want. Okay. Good. We're starting to shoot. Do I got everyone where I need them to be? For the most part, yes. Quickly now. Fenny, you're going to defend our back line. Okay. What? You guys. Long beards. Strike out. Okay, I want you two in a group. Okay, cannons. I want you shooting at oh it doesn't matter yeah sure shoot them yeah they're not going to be able to get past here I mean they better <laughs> they better not be able to okay uh, maybe I put these guys back a touch okay so we know we're gonna have bats I want you over here 
Want you right there. Like I know I'm going uphill. Like that's that's not the greatest, but this is a true choke point and it's somewhat defensible. Okay, I want you. Okay. Okay, I want you, 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 shooting at them. Nice, look how fast they turn. Love it. You, 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 you. No, not you. Shooting at them. Okay. Okay, cannons. Okay. The clans unite. You actually I'll get you guys in your own group. We'll group you. I'm gonna group you. I want you two grouped. Uh right there. And then I want you guys. To regroup. Okay. How are we doing? Zombies, graveyard, great weapons. We know. Okay. What's going on over here? Millingorst, okay, I gotta get over here and deal with him. My whole right side. Group. guys where are you shooting them what you guys shooting them what you do our warriors up here Hey, you guys. Okay, cannons. Unholy lodestone. Let's get it. Okay. Left side. I want this guy. Unless we have. Oh, we have cryptors there. I want you two to remain on the cryptors, please. Okay. And I want you to. Satisfy the oh. No. Unholy Damn lodestone. Okay, I want you two. To shoot over here to the graveyard, please. Okay, cannons. Cannon. How are we doing on that unholy corpse cart thing? Good. Rangers, great weapons. Um, let's just get back here. Okay, good. Cannons. I want you guys to focus this corpse heart down. Unholy lodestone. Yep, we don't want to get that re mass regeneration. Okay. Okay. Okay, I want you. Okay, I want you guys to get in here. 
I want you guys to get in here. I want you guys. Come on, let's get in here, boys. Get in there. Let's go, boys. Okay, left side. Where are you? I want that corpse cart with the unholy lodestone dead, please. I want you guys. Get that one, please. Uh, okay, good. Graveguard, get in there now. Let's get in there, boys. Yep. Get in there. Let's go, boys. Yeah, we got guys withdrawn up here, I know. Um, left side. Hey, you. Get in here. You get in here. Let's go, boys. It's time to fight. I want you to get up here. Uh, you guys. Shoot this guy. I want you guys just to chill out here. Come on. For the ancestors. Okay, where are you? I want you to get in here. Okay. Good. You guys. Are you shooting here? Okay, I want you guys to shoot there. So, so I just see they got a good line of sight across from here. So I want them to shoot to the back. They should. We should take minimum. You know, friendly. Minimum friendly fire on that one. Okay, I want you. Up here. Range far, range okay. And we're definitely losing some boys here. Give me vengeance. I will do it. Grave guard, do I have any heroes over here? Millen Gorst. Do we have anyone not doing anything? Corpse cart with the unholy lodestone. Shit. I missed that one. Okay. I want you guys. Shoot the corpse cart with the unholy lodestone. We might take a little friendly fire in this one, boys. But we need to get it done. Get in there, boys. Okay, how are you guys doing with your ammunition? You? Get in here. Okay. Are you? Go up and get him. Unholy lodestone. You. Get in here. Okay, let's go, boys. Okay. Got anyone not doing anything? You. Get up here. Let's go fight. Great guard with great weapons. Okay, you. Let's go over here. Let's go, boys. Okay. Okay, I want you. Drop your stuff and get in here. Okay. You're the last cannon. Okay, where is that Millen Gorst corpse cart? Okay, where's my hero? Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on. Okay. And you and you. I want you to shoot him. Okay. Miners, get back in there, boys. Okay, come on, get them. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. That's what I want to see. Yes, okay. Um, you and you have ammo left. Millen Gorst, let's go. Okay, cannons. 
von Karstein. Let's get him, boys. Get in the back here. I want you over here. Okay. Let's just get in there, boys. Let's go. I want you over here. Okay. And what about you guys? I want you guys over here as well. You guys shoot him. Okay. Drop. Get in over here. Let's go, boys. Let's get in there, boys. We need all of you right here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I know. We're fight's getting hard now. Uh, I want you up here. Okay, I want you, you, and you. Let's go. And you. Let's go. We're going to get behind him now. Here comes the coup de gras. Yeah, I know my warriors are fleeing. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's get in there. How are we doing up here? Yeah, I know we're fleeing. Okay, I want you. I want you to get on over here. Ooh. This is going to be rough, boys, but you need to get in there. Okay. I want you right here. I want you boys all right here. Let's go, boys, right now. It's time for the coup de gras. Let's go, boys. Bring it home now. Okay. Okay. Let's get in there, boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. I want you right here. Do we got anyone who's not doing anything? Yes, we do. Okay. I want you boys in here. Let's go. Okay, you guys, where are you? Yeah, I know you're tired, boys, but you got to get in there. We need everybody. Okay, anybody else not doing anything? You guys, where are you? Yeah, I know you're tired, boys. You got to get in there. It's no time for anyone to rest here. Okay, you. Let's go, boys. Okay, anyone else not doing anything? Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. Woohoo! That was a fight. Look how these guys are probably very tired, exhausted. Hee 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 Yes! Oh man. I was. <laughs> I did not. I like. Oh, I knew that would be close. Thank goodness for this uh, this natural choke point. We allowed the dwarves to be dwarves. I can't wait to see the kill count. Uh, 100, only 111. Mind you, we were in. We we're all coming in so tired. Who got their kills? Yep, 93. Graveguard with great weapons are so effective against the dwarves because they have empty inf infantry and along with armor piercing and. You know, they have longer weapons, so they can hit from further away. I mean, there's just so many things. I'd, I tried to do my best to get these unholy lodestones out of there. You could see, though, that that uh, my left flank, they were much healthier at the end because those corpse carts with Master Regeneration were all there. 101, 71. Yeah, we couldn't do anything about these guys. We just had to let them, the regular, um, the regular, uh, ah, uh, version of the graveguard just fight so how about the garrison how'd you guys do 191 well that was our cannon their cannon got wiped out 111 there were some boys who got wiped out here you gave your lives I appreciate that 191 okay 
115. These Rangers just continue to perform. Um, rank 7. I gotta give them a name. That extra, that 191 is the uh, top of everybody. So we're gonna call them the heroes of Martech, if I can remember. Who here got their kills? We did a good job on the Cryptors, but they're easy to, to face because they're so tall. I can shoot right over my dwarf's heads, right into their faces. Um, yeah, he got some kills. Their, their regular grave guard got a lot of kills, you know, 42, 71, 72, 55, 50, 50, 41, 22, 36, just because I couldn't deal with them, because I was trying to deal with the grave guard. And the grave guard, you could see the ones that I kind of caught a piece of, 29, maybe 31, the ones I never touched, 93, you know, so... That was a good fight, boys. So Kuhn Hearns can, and we did, we did lose some soldiers. We had some units wiped out, but we will re-recruit, and we do need to rename our cannon. Good job, boys. That was a fight right there. Well, we got battle masters plus 12 leadership for all armies. Like, that's why our guys are fighting to the death. We have leadership buffs and... Stone Mason, okay. Miner. <gasps> oh, this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> like, these are so hard to get. Like, you get a lot of Stone Masons for income for gold mines, but a miner? Income from iron mines, gold mines, and stone mine. And stone quarries, plus 15%. Yes, please. We gotta go put that on someone, but first. Vengeful rune lord. You boys, you earned this name. The heroes. Of Martech. That shall be your name forevermore. Very well done, boys. Every shot counted in that one. I hope. And I can get right into Martech for some replenishment. And Martech's uh, garrison. They're beat up. All right. Woo, what a fight that was. Okay, and these guys are beat up. Ah, look at how fast they replenish. I refuse. But this army can't make it over here. Even in forced march, they're outside. You can see they're outside of reinforcement range. So they could come and fight again. Can I help you? But Kunhern will be ready. And he'll have the heroes of Martek with him. So come on back anytime you want. Alright. Strike the runes it is. My anger burns okay. Right. Now, if I moved all my heroes, I have... Um... Oh! Right. Let this? us not forget... Okay, who do Master I want here? At your service. What it is? This Thane, Gorzan Ironpick. Uh, you got a better last name. Aye, lad, what can I do? For a miner. Student daughter of Elias Stonemason. Yeah, you got one. Oh, you don't you don't need a Cooper or a Brewmaster. But you do need a miner. Uh public order and untainted, sure. Where is that miner now? Ooh boy. What? Where is he? I'll go down. Maybe someone else has him. M? I thought it was a miner. Okay, let's just go down here. Okay, I got a follower. Can only my heroes get him? Brewmaster, Cooper. There he is. Let's 
So I have a miner right here. Maybe only my heroes can get them? Huh. Well, let's go back here. I know I've got the miner. Maybe I can't get it this turn. The king's command. Okay. Well, let's just go through slowly. There he is. Ah, I went right past him. Okay, plus 15% from the gold mines. Yes. Please. And thank you. And Gunbat, how are we doing anyways for income? Death Pass, 7,200. Wow. Rib Peaks at 5,500, right? Uh, Silver Road, 6,500. Blood River Valley, 3,600. So, who do we got not being taxed? Can you be taxed now? Ah. I'll let you guys be. Ackendorf. Um, all oh right. I wanted to build this refectory, I believe. Then we can start taxing them. They're minus one right now. Um, I mean, I mean, can take them off. Like if I tax them, how much is that? Seven eighty-seven, but minus five. So we're just gonna get their corruption under control, and this will help get their public order under control, and we can start taxing them. Uh, Peak Pass. Nashrax Lair. Uh, minus two. 476. I won't tax them for now. Western Badlands, we have some buildings. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Dragonhorn Mines. Yes, please. Uh, I took away all my growth buildings, so I have some building to do here. I could switch to Masters of Steel and Stone, but I just want to keep, uh, well... Nah. I'm going to go with uh, public order. Just get clear off that. I've got good public order right now. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just go with taxes. Yeah, let's do that. Because we're going to get a whole lot of tax income very, very soon. Um, yeah. Trading Depot. And then I'll come back and get the Trinket Maker. Dragonhorn Mines. Trading Depot. Uh, we want a trading depot. And over here, we want a trinket maker. And in Ekron, should we get... Did I, I think I tore down the ranger barracks. Um, is there anything I need? I could get the engineer's workshop for an additional research rate of plus 4% and an additional engineer eventually. Um could get a Hall of Oaths that's going to give me a Thane right now. Um, let's think about this. You, know, you never can never have too many heroes wandering around. Thanes are really good. I can't get... I'm not going to get an Engineer until I'm rank 5. I do have very good research rate now. Research rate right now. So that would be handy. Yeah, I do want another Thane. And I'm going to get that Thane in four turns. It's going to take me forever to get another Engineer. Research rate I love, but let's get a Thane. Good. I mean, I could have switched to Masters of Steel and Stone, but we'll just get that on the go. Ah, I could save so much money if I switch to Masters of Steel and Stone. Sixty-seven hundred, like six hundred. Nah, I'm just gonna do it. We're doing good for our income. Time is becoming more important than money for us right now, and we've saved. We've been fairly disciplined. We saved enough gold so that we can uh, save that time as well. Okay, Great Desert of Araby. Okay, we have a rebellion on the way in. Not going to worry about anything here. Garrison is very solid. What do these do guys look like? Me for a fool. Trash. Western Sylvania. Hmm. Alright, we're going to rebel next turn. I might as well get that on the go. I'm going to be able to save this. No, I'm going to wait till the tech is done. Correct. Okay. Um, 
no one else left to move. Let's go and take a look at our diplomacy, Karak Zorn. You dare I do dare. Lord of the okay. Anad, you may speak Join Confederation. I mean, we're at war with all the same sword. people, pretty much. And we're their only ally. And we, we have a thousand... We're, we're very trusted friends. You know. So, they'll come around. Um, let's look at war targets. Okay, the, the Empire. Calls. The Empire needs a war coordination target. So you... Can you come and take these guys for me, please? Alright. And let's look at trade partners. Vampire Coast, Musulon, Nagarond. I wonder if oh, Nagarond no, would trade with me. No, no. Okay. Well, actually, I want to see how the strength rank is going. Hexawaddle's one, Empire's two. Excellent. There are they are our military ally. Musulon is three. Lothran four, Nagarond six. So they've dropped, and Lothran like. They're biting into each other. The Wood Elf, 7. Neckark Brotherhood, 8. Strigos, 10. Talea. We're 5. Carrick Zorn is 11, with only 4 settlements. So who has the settlements? Um, 39 and 39. Tide, Empire, and Lothar. Nagaron is not far behind at 34, and Hexawaddle at 22. I wonder if Hexawaddle and the last defenders will confederate. Hmm. We'll see. Um... What else did I want to look at? Oh yeah, race. Warherd of Chaos, 29, good. Warriors of Chaos, that's all that's left. They have ninth, strength rank 19. They have Warherd and Warriors. So if I can get rid of them, I mean, that will probably trigger the uh, invasion. Imminent Rebellion. Yep, we know that. End turn. All right, boys. Let's pass the turn, see what happens. Block army. Oh, that block army's crushing when it, when you really need to get somewhere. Oh, come on, Volkmar. If he comes over to take those uh, Warherd of Chaos out of my lands, I will be honored. Because Volkmar and his uh, wagon of death <laughs> have been completely crushing against Chaos. Like, devastating. I should, should go... I wonder if I'll make a highlight reel at the end of some of my favorite heroes, maybe. Volkmar will be up there. When he waded into chaos, when all those chaos stacks came in up north with a half stack and just kicked a tar out of everyone, and forced marched right into the center of them. I mean, that's like, your balls have to be so big to do that. <laughs> and he not only did he do that, he crushed everybody that he fought. Love it. Oh, good. I hope they act... Oh, shoot. That, uh... I, I don't know why it didn't show up at... No, it did show up at Tempelhof. Why do I have another one over... Oh, okay. Never mind. It's two different places. Okay. Shit. I mean, I could try and defend against this, but I'm gonna come back with Thorgrim and just wipe him out. He's hurt. I'm hurt. A little bit of back and forth. I don't really want to fight that right now. Just uh, not in the mood. I might. I, and plus, I think the result would have been the same. Those Karen race, they cause fear and terror, and uh, they can get up on the walls, and they're really quite good. I might have done worse, actually. It's hard to say. Um. All right, assault units, critical failure. All right. Fritz, Fritz von Messingoff. Uh oh. Can he make it to lift the siege? Well, this is what we wanted, isn't it? We wanted to catch those Vargolfs. What do we have? Yep, we wanted to catch the Vargolfs out. And I'd rather fight them in the open fields than on the walls. So we have, we got what we wanted. 
So uh, we're going to fight this battle. I'm going to have a think on this. We're going to end the episode here. And we'll start the episode with Ungram Iron Fist. And his very Slayer themed, I'm going to say, epic army. Because they've already been in, in one epic fight. We'll start the next episode against some Vargulfs and other uh, undead. We're going to put the herd on the Von Karsteins. So I will see you next time on our Mortal Empire's legendary dwarf campaign walkthrough. Have a good one.